Hey everybody, how are you doing? I'm Valeria and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a pick a card future spouse reading for you in which you will find out about your journey to marriage with your future spouse. So this reading is actually a part of a future spouse series that I'm doing on this channel right now. So if you missed out the last two videos, then I'll leave links to them in the description box below. And uh, just for to let you know, the first video in the series was about your future spouse and their first impression of you. And the second video was about what your future spouse will really love about you. Now, with that said, let me tell you a little bit about today's reading. As you can see, we have got these pretty roses in front of us today. And uh, I want you to pick one of them uh, for this reading. And the reason why you don't see any cards right now is because I will be shuffling them on camera today. I've got these really amazing set of decks. They are like a matched pair and I'm really excited to uh, do this reading with them. So, But I'll tell you more about this uh, once I actually start the reading. Um, and of course, I'll be pulling out some chits from my divination bag in the end to get some information about this whole marriage situation. Okay, so you can choose your flowers, but uh, I do want you to pick your flower intuitively. And to help you do that, I will guide you through a short breathing exercise in just a moment. But first, I do want to let you know that if you want to book a personal reading with me, all the information for that is there in the description box below. And now, let's start the breathing exercise. So what I want you to do is, I want you to sit back comfortably, close your eyes and take in a deep breath. Hold it in for a few seconds and let it out. And once you're feeling completely calm and composed, ask yourself, how am I going to get from where I am right now to this marriage situation with my future spouse? What will be my journey to marriage? And then open your eyes and choose the rose that stands out to you. This is one, two, three and four. I'll leave timestamps in the description box below so you can fast forward to your pile. But I'm going to be starting with rose number one right now. Hi pile number one. So you chose the yellow rose. Now let's find out about your journey to marriage with your future spouse. Now, as you can see, and as I told you in the intro, these decks are a matched set. So what I'm going to be doing today is I'll be shuffling this deck to represent your energy and this deck to represent your future spouse's energy. And what I will do is I will draw out cards to represent your journey and represent your future spouse's journey. And ultimately, there will be a point where you will get married to each other, right? Um, but do keep in mind that the energies can be interchangeable. So if you happen to feel as if your energy is more like this deck and then obviously this one will be for your future spouse, then feel free to swap them. OK, so I will be shuffling the cards right now. Okay. Okay. 
okay very interesting all right um so here's the thing uh, since this the row for your future spouse um had a pile of cards that flipped over first face up i am definitely feeling that it is going to be your future spouse who is going to ask you all right and not the other way around but also here's the thing if you happen to be masculine it could be you whose energy is represented by this line all right but yeah now let's look at the cards and what we have got so we have the eight of diamonds we have the nine of spades we have the ace of hearts the six of hearts and the ace of clubs we have the four of hearts we have the reversed no not the reversed yeah we have the three of spades we have the ten of spades the six of diamonds the king of hearts and the four of hearts once more okay so we have a matched pair <laughs> this is very interesting all right and finally we have the four of spades in reversed okay so what do i see in front of me very interesting um so here's the thing right now in your life you are working really really hard on something in your career or it's like a passion project for you but whatever this thing is that you're working really hard at it is something that you're doing on your own okay um so even if it's talking about a career you're still on your own all right you are trying to make something of yourself become wealthy lead a comfortable life and in general you know pave a path for yourself to a you know a happy life okay and uh, with this card we and all the other cards i and especially this card in uh, particular i am definitely feeling that in general your life is at a really great place right now regardless of whether you believe it to be so or not it might be that you know you are like high, like a high achiever maybe that's why you may be like but i've not really hit my goals but still i am definitely seeing that your life is at a pretty good place right now and this is where we start your journey you're working hard but some but it's like once you stop working and maybe you are relaxing or you're just about to go to bed there's this theme that goes on in your life quite often and that is you find yourself wondering will i ever find my person who will be like a good match for me okay who will be just as ambitious as me who will just be as hard working as me who will want to create this beautiful life together and you have all these doubts will i ever find someone like i have not found anyone so far and the people i have met so far they have not been all that great or like it can be because i'm reading for a lot of people right so a group of you have had some bad experiences in love and that's why you're like why am i not finding the good person um for others of you you have never really been in a relationship yet and so you're like where is my person why is it taking this person so long to show up okay and and you are uh, this is where we start your journey and then lo and behold you do meet your future spouse because we have the six of hearts over here and this deck is actually a very interesting deck i'm loving this deck uh this deck uh in in this deck um, the six of hearts is actually the lovers card okay so some of the regular suits also are major arcanas in this particular deck and and so here's just hold on a second um just hold on a second okay all right um so um as i was saying this is the point where you meet your future spouse and it is going to happen in a very unexpected manner and i am feeling that spirit does not really want to give away too many details on this subject but 
it's going to happen in a way that you would not expect it and i'm also feeling that it might happen in a you know kind of a celebratory situation where you are with your family and your loved ones it could be a gathering where you're having food together or maybe you are invited to join a dinner or a lunch with a group of friends and they bring you know a lot more other friends who you don't know and one of those people turn out to be like your future spouse okay or it could be like a um uh, an after wedding um reception or something in your family and you meet your future spouse that way but uh, this is what i'm seeing over here um it is definitely going to be in a situation where you are um uh, it's going to be quite unexpected for you all right and <laughs> here's the thing with the ace of clubs over here and this is the strength card also in this deck i am definitely feeling that once you see your future spouse it's going to be like one of those movie moments where you are like you catch the eye of this stranger and you're like oh my god there's something special about this person i don't know what it is and for those of you who are like really into spirituality maybe you will know right away that uh, i've never experienced this before so it could be like a past life connection or something but you won't be able to figure out what the whole thing is um but you'll be like i really want to go and speak to this person but you'll be like stopping yourself you you'll be like uh you'll be really happy to meet them and you won't even know why because this is a stranger that we are talking about okay now before i get to the remaining part of the reading which is definitely talking about the marriage situation let me talk about your future spouse's journey from where they are right now in the life to you so while things are going well for you things are not really going that well for your future spouse because with the 3 of swords over here they have gone through some kind of a really heartbreaking situation in the past and when i say past i mean the recent past okay and for some of you i am feeling that your future spouse was involved in a third party situation like uh, either they got cheated on or they did not know that um their person even though it, it was not exactly a situation where they were their person was and when i say the their person i'm talking about their you know the ex okay um so the ex may not have been really cheating on them cheating on them in the traditional sense of the word but they could have been like entertaining um more intimate connections with somebody else all right so there is this betrayal thing that i'm seeing over here and heartbreak as well okay but this is not for every single one of you for this is the story of the future spouse of some of you for others of you your future spouse has gone through this heartbreak where they thought that they were with the one who was their person their soulmate and unfortunately things did not work out between the two of them them and their ex and uh, their ex actually blocked them out okay they don't want to speak to your future spouse any longer and uh, here's the thing i'll repeat myself your future spouse actually thought that they were with the one okay but they are not with the one that's why it did not work out all right but they'll only realize that much later okay and that's why we have the 10 of spades over here next which is also the judgment card in this particular deck and this says that just as you go through this period before you meet your future spouse where you're like when is my person going to show up like are they even going to show up it's like a switch of the energies where you are going from a more stable space in your head to like you know feeling a little insomniac they are going from losing sleep because they are heartbroken to a space where they suddenly wake up one day and they're like I know why it did not work out with this other person. They were not the one for me. And I don't know how long it's going to take them to get from this point to this point. That's why I don't do like uh, you know timing based readings because obviously it is not going to be accurate for everyone who's watching these videos, okay? And uh, timing based readings are more accurate when you, you know, go for a personal reading. 
so i don't know exactly how long it will be but uh, since these two cards are uh, both the um, the suit of spades i i am feeling that for most of you it will happen within the span of one year okay that they'll be heartbroken and they will have this aha moment where one day they just wake up and they're like yeah i know why i did not work out with this other person and once they have this and then they're like okay fine i have to get my life back in track back on track sorry so then they will start uh healing themselves so again i feel that there's going to be a point from uh there's going to be a period between this point where they wake up to the point where they meet you because this card represents the point where they meet you all right and uh, so during this period they're going to heal themselves and they're going to get on their feet they're going to become more stable and strong on the inside and so when you ultimately meet them you're not going to feel this energy any longer they would have already worked it out of their system so and it'll be like again it'll be in a setting where you're having food together or it's a celebration and people are being very generous and very loving and like everybody's surrounded by love and suddenly you meet your person and they meet you and your person is actually going to go out of the way to be nice to you and when i say nice to you it's going to be like maybe they'll want to pass on some food to you or get you a drink or help you out in some way so they're going to be extremely generous that is something that i'm seeing now let's get to the juicy part with these two cards <laughs> see both these cards came out for both of you all right i am definitely feeling that your future spouse is somebody who is like in your mutual friends circle okay you do not know this person but it could be like a friend of a friend all right or fr or a like a um a cousin's friend a cousin who's like a distant cousin that you end up meeting on in a wedding or something it could be anything but there is some kind of a connection between the two of you all right um of some relatives either family or friends and that's why it's like in both your cases you will have people telling you that maybe you should uh, you know date this person in your case you will have somebody coming and telling you that uh, you see that guy or you see that girl i think they would be a good match for you why don't you uh talk to them or maybe you will be talking to them and then a friend of yours or some family member who knows this person will be like that's a very good boy or a very good girl so you uh, if you like them maybe you can uh think about something okay now of course <laughs> uh i'm sorry my indianness is coming into the whole picture i know that most of you 80% of you watching this video are not indians so it could just be like your friend uh, recommending your future spouse to you that you should give them a chance all right and it will be the same thing for your future spouse someone will tell you that you are a pretty good person and the, your personalities are very similar like i said you're part of a mutual friend circuit okay so people know each other right people know you people know them and so eventually you will have this situation where you'll be dating each other so again i'm seeing this point where uh, there'll be a gap between this point where the two of you ultimately choose to give each other a chance because somebody who you trust told you that you know maybe you should give this other person like um a go go date them or something okay strike up a conversation with them or something so there's going to be a gap between this point and the point where they ask you if you would like to marry them so again i don't know what's going to happen in between but obviously things will be going well otherwise why would this person pop the question right and this card just flipped over when i was like um, shuffling the deck right so it's like they are going to be very uh fast very quick about this so yeah again both these cards belong to the same suit so for most of you i feel that it is going to be within a period of one month uh, so oh yeah why did i say month it could be a period of one month for some of you but yeah one year what i was going to say is one year uh so it it's going to happen pretty fast from where you go from dating each other to deciding that you want to get married all right and 
they're just going to know that they want to spend the rest of your rest of their life with you because yeah things are amazing all right and here's the thing with the four of spades in reverse this card is also the death card in this particular deck this <laughs> this is like the sweetest thing i i am definitely feeling that this uh, marriage is going to last till one of you dies okay it's going to be one of those real till death to us path part kind of a marriage situation because let's face it like given the divorce rates around the world most marriages don't really last so the fact that you will last is a great and incredible thing and um, and i i do understand why it's because the two of you are soulmates you have the lovers card over here okay the major arcana okay and uh, it's also the six of hearts in this uh, and the six of hearts is also about uh, soulmates okay now your future spouse may be a scorpio because we do have judgment and death both over here on this table and we have a lot of water in a water um and they are represented by the king of hearts over here okay and uh, you could be a fire sign but again you also have a lot of water but yeah uh, leo energy is standing out to me so you are somebody who is like um, and this is something that i was speaking up when i was like uh, meditating on this flower as well it's like you are somebody who is more upfront and it's like your personality is more uh, uh i think in your face but not in a bad way it's like uh, you have this uh, star like personality about you okay so people tend to notice you first before they notice your future spouse okay but yeah i, I am that's all i'm getting for you palmbo one so this was an incredible reading i really enjoyed doing it so if you did hit the like button below and let me know what you think in the comments Also if you have not subscribed to the channel yet do subscribe because we have one more future spouse reading left in the series and that is going to be about your married life okay so if you have not subscribed do subscribe also as i said if you want to book a personal reading with me because you want to get more specific details about the situation you can book the reading via the link in the description box below and with that said that's pretty much all i've got for you today palamo one i hope you have a great day ahead and i will see you next time bye bye hey palamo two so you chose the pink rose now let's find out about your journey to marriage with your future spouse Now as I mentioned in the introduction I'll be using these two identical decks today um so they are a matched set and uh, I'll be using one deck for your energy and the other deck for your future spouse's energy all right and what I will do is I will tell you how you will go from where you are right now to the point where you get married to your future spouse and the same for your future spouse all right so Let me start shuffling the deck. The decks. Okay, now for your future spouse. Okay. 
so here's the thing before i even start i will tell you that um, this represents your energy this represents your future spouse's energy but if in case you feel as if you know the other side speaks more like uh, what you are going through in your life right now then feel free to swap all right then it'll be like this is your energy and this is your future spouses okay so what cards do we have we have the five of diamonds we have the six of clubs and the ace of spades hmm we have the jack of hearts and the ten of clubs we have the six of spades and finally we have the three of diamonds and on this side of the table we have the six of hearts and the ace of clubs we have the eight of spades we have the fool whoa okay very interesting i'm seeing mirroring of two energies from this point all right but i'm also feeling that even at this point the two of you have not met each other yet and finally we have the reversed nine of spades the reversed five of diamonds and the three of clubs okay <laughs> did you see this okay all right um so here's the story what you are going through right now i am definitely feeling that uh, for a lot of you you are feeling uh, pressurized by either your parents or by you know societal expectations to live life a certain way okay and it could it could also uh, and this talks definitely about this marriage situation because this is the focus of our reading but i'm also feeling that this is also talking about uh, how you want to live and uh, the path that you want to take in life okay so it's like you're feeling a lot of peer pressure right now a lot of and even if it's not peer pressure it's like a pressure from your family or you think that society expects this of you and what is happening right now is you're starting to realize that all of this is like you know burdening you with unnecessary responsibilities because at the end of the day it's almost like people whether they are saying this to you directly or not but it's like indirectly through subtle ways or through their behavior or even directly for that matter they are asking you to stop living the way you want to live and live the way they want you to live okay and you're starting to realize that now that if somebody if people really love you they would be happy with you living the life that you want to live okay even if it differs from the path that they have taken okay regardless of whether they are an authority figure or not but i am definitely feeling that you're feeling pressurized by an authority figure in your life um so it for a lot of you it could be a father okay um but it does not represent um uh, a father for everybody it could also be a boss or somebody else of that matter and here's what i see on this path and uh, since this is the focus of the reading like the future spouse your marriage and all of that stuff this has definitely got a lot to do with how you want your life to look like how you want your marriage to look like the kind of partner you want you have certain ideas but people are like this is not how things work okay you have to snap out of it you have to wake up but in reality they just are too unimaginative and that's why the next step these two are uh, talk about like a transition okay so it's like you are already figuring this out and then the next step would be you know get into a point where you finally have had too much okay you're like the burden just keep piling up and piling up and piling up all the expectations this and that and you feel as if all of this is preventing you from living the life that you want to live going for your dreams in fact even following your heart and finally when the breaking point comes you will pack up your bags and you will leave 
whether it is metaphorical or literal will depend on you and your situation and what this represents for you okay and now let's talk about what's happening with your future spouse this journey because i am feeling that this is the point where you will meet your future spouse all right once you transition out of the space and i'm also picking for a very small percentage of you um you are married already okay you are married already but you're married to the wrong person this person is uh, like vastly older than you or they are much more powerful than you that's why you feel trapped in this marriage and it's like you're figuring out that this is not working out that uh, they see you as somebody who is way way less than them and they are not treating you like a partner they're treating you more like the housemaid okay or whatever it might be okay because you've got all this work piled up on you because they feel that they are too important to do this all right and finally for this small percentage of you you will decide to leave this person and move on okay there will be either a divorce situation going on or it'll be like a separation and because divorces do take a lot of time okay it does not just happen at the snap of a finger right but yeah this separation will happen now and it'll be because you will decide that too much is too much and you can't live like this any longer now about your future spouse your future spouse is actually in a situation where they too are with somebody now i did mention that for a small percentage of you you're already married or you are in a relationship of a very very long time you've been with this person for a really long time it almost feels like a marriage okay yeah now your future spouse is doing the same thing but life seems to be slightly better for them now this person that they are with right now is their soulmate okay and here's the thing we have more than one soulmate okay because it soulmate the word when you break it down just talks about a person who is a friend to your soul who is like family to your soul and we have had so many incarnations we have had we have met so many people we have created so many bonds that you cannot say that there's only one person in this entire world that you will love with all your heart that is not true you definitely love your family somebody some people in your family you definitely love your best friend you love a lot of other people in your life as well right so soulmate relationships exist beyond the scope of this romantic situation as well but in this situation yeah they are with a romantic soulmate and they feel that this is the one for them and the thing is the two of them are actually joined at the hip this future spouse and uh, your future spouse and the person that they are with right now they are joined at the hip okay unfortunately the problem with this is that they are not getting to be the individual self and they have to champ down on the bit a lot of times they have to compromise on things that they don't want to compromise on and for a lot of them they have to suppress who they are their personality their true personality and with eight of spades over here now this deck is a very special deck because there are major arcana cards in the minor suit as well okay so we have the hierophant we have the tower over here okay and in on this side this is the strength card and this is also the justice card okay so this card is saying that your future spouse eventually they'll realize that this relationship is not really as balanced as they think it is because on the surface things are going very very well but they're not getting to be their true self so there is an imbalance and the structure like the foundation of this relationship is not very strong okay even even if it is a not exactly a bad relationship but then again you do have to admit pal number 2 those of you who are watching this that you have had a history just as your future spouse right so you have encountered a lot of people that you have loved and lost along the way and your future spouse has gone through the same and is going through the same okay so don't um, what do you say um judge them harshly for being with someone and thinking that they have found the one even though they have 
not because they are with a soulmate and soulmate relationships are good to a great extent okay so this is not a bad relationship but eventually with the fool card over here there will come a point in time where they will choose to walk away from this relationship and they themselves will choose to do this that's why i was saying that both of you are mirroring over here in your paths okay now when this will happen depends okay how long you hit your breaking point and you decide to move on and when they finally decide to like take off the blindfold and realize that they're not really trapped and even if a relationship is good if the foundation is not very strong and if they are not getting to be their true self then at the end of the day the relationship will not really f fulfill them okay so it's going to take them a while it's going to take you a while but eventually what will happen is that once the two of you are out of these relationships okay now that's where we come to this point all right here's the thing just give me a few seconds i am yeah okay so here's the thing your future spouse will not be very willing to marry someone right off the bat okay and even after you meet each other and with the three of diamonds over here you will meet either at work or through friends or through colleague or uh, through a colleague's friend or some kind of a uh, situation where you are introduced by mutual uh, friends okay or you meet at a work party or something like that all right so that is something that i'm seeing but yeah they'll not be interested in you know um like a solid relationship the at the point of time when you meet them and they will have all these real real doubts about whether a relationship will even work out or not because like i said they had a good relationship it was not bad in any way but they felt as if they were merging with the other person and they were not getting to be their true self and they were like and at this point in time when you meet your future spouse in the future they will be like maybe all relationships are like this maybe i will never be get to be my individual self if i choose to be in a relationship okay and uh, they're going to be really scared of that because being the true self is very important to them and i'm also getting aquarius vibes from this uh, particular pile so um yeah they they are the kind of person who's very different okay but they're the kind of person who is also very friendly and social person so yeah i am definitely getting aquarius vibes they don't have to be an aquarius by any means but yeah this person is very very different from the crowd okay and yeah and they will have this conversation with you i am definitely seeing that they're going to be open about this but they will also be willing to put in the effort in building something with you because the two of you will connect the two of you are very similar okay that is something that i'm seeing you mirror each other all right and you will definitely be the kind of a couple where even if they are not willing to completely commit fully because of all these fears they are still willing to put in the work so this is not the playboy kind of energy by any means okay so don't get scared they will put in the work they will want to build things with you and slowly steadily things will get to a point all right now i will pull some chits from this bag to get more information about ultimately how everything is going to culminate in a marriage situation and i i am definitely getting the feeling that for a lot of you this when i say marriage it will not be a conventional marriage it might be one of those situations where you decide to be partners for as long as you can be partners like uh, uh if you know about rupaul he's not married oh is he married to his partner i don't know okay but uh uh okay sorry i might be giving an example that might be not right but yeah i do know about jason momoa okay jason momoa and his wife were not married for 12 years but uh, they did say that they were married to everybody but eventually they got married much later once they had two children and everything so it's like even if they are not married they are married and uh, they were putting in 
all the effort to build the relationship and have a great family and stuff okay so i am definitely getting that for a lot of you this will be like an unconventional thing but yeah let's get some chits to clarify the situation okay so we have the one okay it came out reversed so this person will know in their heart but they'll not see it we have reverse travel we have frog we have reversed talk yeah we have reversed meal we have sagittarius we have the rune ingwas we have take it and these two came out together so we have the reversed capricorn and whatever okay a lot of reversed energy so it's like i am definitely feeling that it's going to take a while for the two of you to get to a point where you really commit to each other which ultimately becomes like a marriage situation regardless of whether it's a conventional marriage or not okay and with all these cards over here yeah they may not be your future spouse may not be very willing to sorry may not be very willing to like tell you all the reasons why they are afraid maybe they'll feel uh, uh as if the last time they were vulnerable they thought that they were with the one but then it turned out uh being a situation where like you know one of those situations where the relationship is good but you still want to leave but because it is good what reason do you give the other person like you can't say that you know that you're leaving because it's toxic or something right and like you have this feeling that everybody else is going to be like they're going to villainize you that why did you break the heart of somebody even though this relationship was great okay so they might not want to speak from their heart initially because they are having all these doubts okay but deep in their heart they'll already know that you are the one okay but they'll not say it they will not say it yeah um i'm also getting taurus vibes this person doesn't have to be a taurus but yeah i'm also like sagittarius and capricorn is also on there on the table so those of you who want these signs the signs are here but um again i i don't really give much precedence to the astrological uh, signs um but yeah uh yeah ultimately um, this is a separate thing that i'm getting over here this is a message for you because i feel as if spirit does not want to tell you how this entire thing will culminate because i feel uh the future okay here's a here's a thing the future is not really set in stone right it depends on like the kind of future that unfolds for every single one of us depends on the actions that we take the decisions that we make and how we go about like facing the consequences of those actions and those decisions okay and so even though the two of you come together over here whether it becomes a marriage or not and how long it lasts and other stuff will completely depend on the two of you and your dynamic and if you're able to break out of the situation and i am definitely feeling that the reason why all this is showing up is because this person has not had the time to like heal themselves before they meet you so they just got out of this thing and then they meet you immediately and the same thing happened for you all right so neither of you had the time to like really get over and the situation that you were in okay and uh, here's the thing uh this is the the separate message that i was talking about this is specifically for you pile number 2 and that is the breaking point for you where you decide to leave the situation in your life that is not really serving you will be when you realize that you are being treated like a mule okay i'm getting the devil energy from this um from from the capricorn over here um so it could be a boss it could be anybody else for a small percentage of you this is like you're already married to somebody else okay and 
you're being treated like a mule your feelings are not being considered and would take it over here it's almost like you're being commanded to do exactly as you're being told all right and when that happens when this command finally comes okay i think until that point maybe these commands are more subtle they are more manipulative and that's why you are just giving in and giving in and giving in some of you might be pisces but anyway um so you're just giving in and giving in but ultimately when one day this person just takes it too far and they just command you to do something that you're not okay with you just leave all right you leave them and uh, with the sagittarius symbol over here and it again came out and reversed it is going to happen in a way that is going to shock the person okay they they would have felt that you are like a doormat who just goes with whatever anybody says and maybe that's why they felt that it is okay to stop manipulating you and to just like command you to do something that you did not want to do and that's when you show your true color which is you know that you have a lot of fire inside of you and just because people have was suppressing it does not mean that that fire just died all right so pile 2 i i feel that uh, you need to watch some other pick a card reading which is not about your future spouse uh, maybe a pick a card about who you are okay and what you're meant to do in your life or get some clarity about your situation all right because ultimately before you can be in a healthy relationship with somebody else you need to have a healthy relationship with your own self and you need to know that you are on the path that is right for you and you have the courage to say no to all the people who are trying to burden you with things that are not your burdens to take on okay so i do feel you do need to watch those readings okay now with that said that's all i've got for you today so if you enjoyed this reading hit the like button below and let me know what you think in the comments and if you're not subscribed to the channel yet do subscribe because the next video that i'm going to be doing is going to be about your married life with your future spouse so if you want to watch that subscribe also if you would like to book a personal reading with me all the information for that is there in the description box below and yeah that's pretty much it for today please don't lose hope pile number 2 okay um and i really hope you have a great day ahead okay ठीक है बाय बाय हे पाल नंबर थ्री सो यू चोज दिस रोज नाउ लेट्स फाइंड आउट अबाउट योर जर्नी टू मैरिज विद योर फ्यूचर स्पाउस एंड द वे आई एम गोइंग टू डू इट इज as you can see i've got these two decks in front of me both of them are identical the only difference is one is the moon the other is the sun okay so what i am going to do is i'm going to be shuffling this card to represent your future spouse and this card to represent you and we are going to see how this journey is going to be like from where you are right now and where your future spouse is right now to ultimately it culminates at that marriage point okay so i'm i'm going to keep this bag over here before i even start because i forgot to pull out the uh, chits for pile number 1 so i don't want that to happen to you okay so i'm going to shuffle the deck now okay sorry okay i get some cards from this one
yeah that's it okay so here's the thing pile number three if you i mean during the reading if you feel as if this pile represents your energy more than this one then feel free to swap the places okay but this one represents your energy this one represents your future spouse's energy and the reason why i arrange the cards this way in this particular reading is because uh, i mean if in case you have watched a different uh, pile before you came to this one um you will see that uh, i have put the energy of the person watching the reading on top and the person of the future spouse underneath but in this case i'm getting the feeling that you are a very humble kind of a person and it's like even when i was meditating on this rose which represents your energy i was seeing this beautiful cabbage in my head okay and cabbage is kind of like a vegetable that seems bland and like a wallflower kind of a vegetable but it has all these layers and it has it has substance to it it is like uh how do i even explain it it's like even trying to say things of this kind makes it seem as if a cabbage is like nothing but it is not it's like just a few days back i saw this beautiful cabbage <laughs> like it belonged to somebody else uh, but it was just lying on top of this uh, table all right and uh, it was such a beautiful cabbage that when i was meditating on your rose that cabbage just came back to my head and <laughs> i am sorry if uh if this sounds as if like i'm going off on a tangent or something and i should just start this reading i will but it's more like you are the kind of person who who puts other people and their needs before yours and that is something that i wanted to express before i start the reading okay now we have got the king of hearts we have the seven of spades we have the nine of spades and the nine of nine of hearts and on your future spouse side we have the nine of spades the five of clubs the six of clubs and the three of hearts we have the eight of spades the 10 of clubs the queen of clubs and the seven of clubs yeah some of you might have watched pile number 2 before you came uh, i mean you watched pile number um before you are watching pile number 3 or you might have been attracted to pile number 2 as well but uh, you decided to watch this one first okay and then we have seven of spades once more okay there's a lot of mirroring going on over here and four of spades in reverse again uh some of you might have been attracted to pile number 1 or you might have watched pile number 1 already okay or it could be like you know one of those other piles represent your future spouse as in like if they were to pick a pile they would pick one of those piles and you picked this one okay all right okay so here's what i see yeah so you at this point of time in your life you are kind of balanced on the inside okay your life is going pretty well you're feeling stable you're feeling steady you are a very loving person and i already mentioned that when i was talking about the cabbage rose okay very humble very down to earth very giving yeah and okay just hold on a second this uh, like some of the cards are like confusing me a bit so let me just get the message first before i speak any further yeah yeah so this is the point where you meet your future spouse okay yeah okay all right so here's the thing before i can speak about the rest of your journey i've actually got to tell you about your future spouse's journey because this is what i see since these two cards are the same and this represents your future spouse's energy right their journey is going to be kind of longer than yours all right the journey to meeting you 
and once i tell you the story of how they're going to get to this point where they have met you and you have met them after that i'll tell you how your relationship will progress okay so what your future spouse is going on going through right now or in their recent past is that they are kind of in a situation that is really bothering them okay um they are also feeling very alone they are the kind of person who like takes too much uh, stress they stress out about a lot of things uh, they could be an air sign uh, one of uh, aquarius gemini libra but i'm getting libra energy because we also have the justice card over here now this deck is very different so this is both the eight of spades spades and the justice card okay so libra energy is very strong and aquarius also uh, to some extent but yeah this is the kind of energy of a person who uh thinks 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 over thinks into a spiral but still is not able to make a decision or um they focus on things that are not really in their control okay so that is what's going on and for a lot of you i am feeling that the pandemic might be like really getting to them being stuck indoors or um whatever consequences the pandemic has had on their life it is causing them a lot of stress and that's why the next cards that we have is the devil and the tower okay and these cards along with the three of hearts over here is saying that it's like their life is breaking down in multiple arenas it's breaking down in their uh, in the arena of their relationships with people and with uh, romantic partners for some of them this is not for all so for some of you your future spouse is at the current moment with somebody else who is not the right person for them it's like an obsessive kind of a relationship all right but this is for a very small percentage of you most of for most of you it's like the relationships that are breaking down are friendships okay maybe these friendships that your future spouse had okay these friends they were just friends because they used to drink together or they were buddies from college or something and there's this immature energy that i'm picking up it's almost like because of the pandemic and they've not been able to meet and they've lost contact or lost touch or they're not getting to drink or party together it's like now that there's been this separation it's like been this uh, thing where they are finally realizing how toxic these friendships were for them okay and how this peer pressure might have been like leading them on this path to self destruction all right where they are like yeah i know that drinking too much can harm my liver and ultimately uh kill me in the long run or smoking too much or any other vice okay that is caused by peer pressure okay any of these vices can have a really deb debilitating effect on my life but i'm not going to think about it too much because everybody does it at school and this pandemic i'm feeling has been really good for them in the sense that it's turned them cold turkey okay they're not able to get the substance that they were either addicted to or that they used to you know um whatever it is that uh, they were this vice that they were engaged in with their with their friends so this is breaking down and it's all very very good because now what is happening is that the next step in their journey is that they are clearing up this energy this toxicity clearing out this toxicity from the life and ultimately they'll reach a point where they'll be like my life is not very balanced i need to fix it okay like i've been focusing on all the on all the wrong kind of things so far and i need to fix things and it's going to take them a while to actually understand how they can do it okay and because they are inexperienced and they have not really uh, they have been the kind of person who has gone gone for um, what do you say um uh how do what do you call that thing just hold on a second uh what do you call that uh they don't have good impulse control okay so instant gratification yeah that is the word i was looking for they are the kind of person who will gratify themselves instantly like in the moment and they'll think about the future pretty much never okay um so they might be the kind of person who rings up like you know uh, not rings up sorry um they uh, make some really shitty decisions in the moment 
and they're like yolo we just live once let's just do it and fuck the future and all of that stuff and then later on they come to regret it but they're not able to break free from the cycle and this pandemic season has actually put a stop to all of that has actually helped them think and it's like slowly steadily this toxicity is getting out of the system but because they're so inexperienced at making good decisions and uh standing up for themselves and not giving in to peer pressure that's why it's going to take them a while to actually stabilize all right and that's why i said that their journey is longer than yours all right like in fact for a lot of you your future spouse might have been going through this for like much longer than like the recent past okay like uh, some like the real realization was coming on to them even before the pandemic started or maybe because the pandemic has been going on for like more than 6 months now so it's been a long time but i'm getting this is more your energy of the current time now okay whenever you watch this reading okay so so it's going to take them a while uh, to balance their responsibilities and be more responsible in life to you know put down the foot and give, not give in to peer pressure um and to also know that uh, what they want in life is like <sighs> yeah for a lot of you they want somebody in the life who will prevent them from going back to this thing okay they know that they are not very very good at uh, uh you know turning away the vices or turning away the energy of the devil and th- like i said it's inexperience they'll get to get better with, at this with age and with practice but they want somebody in the life they want the romantic partner to uh, who will come into the life to be the kind who will put their foot down and be like no you're not going to do this otherwise i am gone all right or something like that so they want that strict energy in their life so that like until they themselves are good enough uh, at making decisions and saying no to these things they have at least the support of somebody who's like kind of stronger and who already knows how to do this okay and then ultimately we come to this card all right so you and your future spouse both of you will meet each other definitely through work okay some of you might be colleagues but not all of you okay this will be like some kind of a work situation where you might go to a conference and you might meet your future spouse or it is like a work party or or for some of you you are like on this career path that might be like a, you have your own business or you are a freelancer or something else and your future spouse is also of the same kind and you become collaborators okay and uh, so ultimately the two of you meet that way okay and it is in even initially it is going to be a relationship of the mind all right you both are really going to enjoy each other's uh, the way you think both of you all right um but unfortunately yeah i'm getting De- gemini energy from this very strongly your relationship is going to be like a gemini geminian kind of relationship where uh it'll be all well and good in the moment and speaking to each other is like you can have conversations for hours okay and you can brainstorm and you can come up with ideas you can help each other get ahead in your careers and all of that stuff i am definitely seeing that but the emotional aspect is missing from this okay and this is going to cause you a lot of nightmares okay because you are the kind of person who already is in touch with your emotions so your future spouse is very different from you in that sense okay so if you are water they are air okay they live in the mind you live through your heart okay so there's this distinct difference between the two of you and you are the kind of person who likes the other person to you know if they are interested to like be upfront about it or at least you need to know that something's going to happen otherwise why am i feeling all of this stuff like and you'll be like does this other person even feel this way about me or what and then you you are stressing out and this and that all of this stuff is happening and ultimately <laughs> this is the fun part okay like it is not going to be fun in the moment of course but it's going to be like this relationship that you are in with your future spouse in the future it'll feel like a vice to you 
because like I said, your future spouse is looking for somebody who is stable and steady and really good at controlling themselves, who's an emotionally intelligent person. And you are exactly that. All right. But they are not that. They are not good at controlling themselves. They are not good at making decisions. They sometimes, like most of the time, they give in to peer pressure. All right. And they're trying to improve that. Life is putting them on this path. Like especially the pandemic has actually put a stop to a lot of this nonsense, uh, which is helping them stabilize themselves. But because they are this kind, this way, your relationship will take on this energy, this negative kind of an energy where you're going to be like, I am putting in so much effort into this. But this other person is like so flighty. They are not willing to tell me or every time I try to bring up this conversation, uh, somehow, some way, we never end up talking about it. Like we end up talking about 10,000 other things or the latest movie on Netflix or like, you know, what we're going to do next uh, in our, you know, uh, work or something. But then we never get to this emotional part of this conversation that needs to happen. And what you will do is you are ultimately going to put your foot down and you're going to be like let's have this conversation and if the person is not really interested in me i am going to stop investing so much of my time into this because this energy this person is preventing me from finding somebody else you will not know that this is actually your future spouse okay although <laughs> because you have watched this reading maybe you will but for most for the most part i do know from experience that even after watching pick card readings or other tarot readings even when they come true all right there's this part of us that's like is it true is it true i don't know how can i how can i be sure okay so the doubt all right you will doubt yourself and you'll doubt whether this is the your person and so you're going to be like okay let's have this conversation if it does not go the way i want it to go i'll just put an end to it because you are an emotionally intelligent person you know how to be decisive in your life so how do you go from this point to the marriage point for that i'm going to pull out some chits from this bag over here Do remember that when I say marriage, it doesn't have to be a conventional marriage. It could also be an unconventional situation where the two of you decide to be partners for the long haul. All right. Yeah. Okay, so we have reversed beast. reversed celebration and ing was okay all right okay uh, yeah okay here's the fun part uh i don't know whether this is exactly what's going to happen for all of you i don't think this is exactly what's going to happen for all of you all right but uh I just got this uh, like story in my head where it's like um, you have this conversation and you see all these blues, the blue chakra represents the throat, okay. Uh, so you're having this conversation about breaking up and uh, where do you stand and this and that and your person and I think this is going to happen in a, like an indoor celebration kind of a situation where uh, but this is not going to be with other people, okay? It's like just the two of you or uh, it's like really cozy, okay? And uh, it, it's like uh, you, uh, you, it might be like a date kind of a situation and it's all really beautifully done and everything because, yeah, you and your person, both of you really like each other. The only difference is they have not ever expressed it in an emotional way because of which you are feeling confused, okay? So them putting in, going all the way for this date, doing all these nice things is their way of expressing that they really like you. 
but you will not understand it so like when you have this kind of a situation and you're cozying up and you're having this mini celebration between the two of you you will bring up this topic and you will not even know and this is for like most of you but not all of you you'll not even know that your person your future spouse had actually decided that they're going to ask you to marry them on that very day okay so it's going to be <laughs> like a really surprising situation but it's also going to be like one of those stories that are really fun to tell on uh, you know whenever people ask you how did the two of you meet and how did the two of you end up marrying each other and stuff so like it's going to be one of those nice stories because it's got these ups and downs to it so people are, it'll keep people engaged okay but it's not for everybody <laughs> so like let's just open the last chit Again, we have the reverse Jupiter. Okay. This person might be a Sagittarius as well. Okay. Or might have some Sagittarius in their birth chart. Um, but yeah, they have this... Uh, because Sagittarius energy with Jupiter, Jupiter rules Sagittarius. It's uh, very expansive, okay? So, if they start doing something, they just take it too far, okay? So, like, if they get engaged in some vices that they, they might just party until they die okay something like that but yeah um so yeah it, it's i i'm just seeing that story in my head okay so for the smaller percentage of you for whom it's not going to end up like this i am feeling that when you have this conversation Again, it is going to definitely be at this date kind of a situation indoors or like you're having um, this cozy celebration, okay, with just the two of you or a very small group of people, okay, or something. And you have this conversation and that's when your relationship actually begins, all right? And this relationship, it's like you don't have to be actually legally married to be considered married in the soul, because Ingwas is the rune of the seed. So it's like this conversation is the thing which actually plants the seed, which ultimately will lead you wherever it leads you. It, for some of you, it will be a conventional marriage. But even before you are conventionally married, your relationship would be like that of a married couple. And for others of you, it will be an unconventional situation for a really, really long period of time. Okay. But pile number three i'm not getting anything more other than that okay so i really hope you enjoyed this reading do let me know what you think in the comments and like this video if you did enjoy watching this and of course um, the next video that i'm going to be doing is going to be about your married life so if you want to watch that don't forget to subscribe to the channel and yeah if you would like to book a personal reading with me all the information for that is there in the description box below so you can check it out and yeah that's pretty much it for today i hope you have a great day ahead and i will see you next time bye bye hey pile number four so you chose the red rose now let's find out about your journey to marriage with your future spouse. Now the way I'm going to do this reading is as you can see I've got two decks in front of me and they are identical decks. The only difference is one is the sun and the other is the moon. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out cards for your journey to marriage and your future spouse's journey to marriage. And uh, of course from where you are right now and when i say right now whenever you're watching this video okay so and later on i will pull some chits from my divination bag but yeah let's just start with the shuffling all right so i can get to the reading okay Yeah, this I'm going to use for your energy and this for your future spouse's energy.
किया एंड नाउ फॉर दी अदर कार्ड्स okay all right so i'm i'm seeing with all these uh, cards which flipped over uh, that your future spouse is definitely going to be the kind of person who's very upfront about their feelings and what they like and what they don't like and all of that stuff um but before i even reveal the other cards i do want to say that if you happen to feel that your energy resonates with this side of the table more then just Fla uh, switch the roles okay then you can decide that this is your future spouse and this is you okay it's up to you but i'm going to read it as if this is you and this is your future spouse so we have got the four of spades we have the king of diamonds the king of spades the six of spades we have the ace of spades we have the 2 of hearts and on this side we have the 3 of clubs the ace of clubs the 5 of spades we have got the 9 of clubs and the ace of clubs all right so we have a match we have the reverse 2 of clubs and the queen of uh, so and the queen of spades okay we have another match and we have the reverse 3 of spades and the six of hearts okay really okay this is kind of an interesting reading not in a bad way because ultimately it ends with uh, something really good um but here's a story where you are right now in your life is you're going through some kind of an ending okay um it you have put an end to something for some of you it is like you have changed your career for others of you you have uh, left a job and right now you are looking for a new one and uh, because even though this is the four of spades i'm seeing in my head the five of cups okay and uh, in this particular deck this card uh, i mean uh, some of the cards also are major arcanas along with the minor suits so this card is also the death card okay so uh so for again this ending could also be in your personal life you have ended something and for a very small percentage of you i am saying this death is actually a literal death there has been a death in the family and you are grieving about it okay so i see a funeral but this is for a very small percentage of you okay and with the king of diamonds right next to it it's like you are the kind of person who is very in control of your emotions and yourself some of you might meditate a lot and uh, you find uh you ground yourself that way okay so that's what i'm saying that you will ground yourself you will uh either meditate or connect yourself to reality and you will try to balance yourself on the inside after this ending and because of that uh, even though there's this transition period that i'm seeing and uh, here's the thing you will meet your future spouse at this point okay like they meet you at this point in their journey you will meet them at this point of your journey but yeah there's a transition period over here but your transition period is a very strong one because we also have the king of spades which is also the emperor card in this deck so it's like not only are you grounding yourself and doing a lot to heal yourself get over this ending and for some of you this literal death and uh, you're working on your heart chakra a lot of you and also your root chakra okay so that is there and you're also very very focused on what it is that you want to conquer in your life what it is your dreams 
uh, when I say conquer, I mean your dreams. Um, and you're trying to uh, bring your life into perspective, okay, after this ending. This ending was a good ending, even if it was the kind which uh, made you feel like a scapegoat or like, you know, people were attacking you for no reason or like, you know, um, now di different stories will apply to different people who have chosen this pile. So please do keep that in mind. But yeah, it was a kind of ending which did not leave a good taste in your mouth, but not exactly in a way where it was like extremely heartbreaking. Okay, so I'm not getting that feeling. But yeah, there's this transition and eventually you move out of this rough area. And because you yourself took all the action and you are very strong on the inside, you transition out and you move towards a greater, a brighter future, okay? Um, so, and I'm also seeing that you're healing yourself. All right. And now when you move away, and for some of you, this is like literally, like you might decide to leave a, a, a place and move to a different place. Like you move, uh, move your home somewhere else or leave a city and go somewhere else. Um, but yeah, like I said, a lot of you, for a lot of you, this does represent your career. So it's like you have left a job and you're going to a different one. But yeah, there's some kind of movement. And uh, this is like for the majority of you, this is like a literal movement. You're moving from one place to another or like leaving one job to another, something like that. Okay. Uh, but yeah, it's like the end of a chapter. And then you meet your future spouse. So before I get on with the rest of the cards on this side of the table, let me tell you what is going on with your future spouse right now. So your future spouse is the kind of person who's very uh, uh, self-motivated. They are very capable of building things in their life. They uh, are very strong on the inside just like you are. This is the strength card just as much as it is the ace of clubs. And uh, they are the kind of person who don't really need to rely on other people to do things. They can do everything on their own. Okay. Um, this person also likes to travel a lot. And maybe because of the pandemic, they might not have been able to like go uh, to a lot of places. So they may, might have been like camping in their backyard or like... <laughs> uh going to the nearby mount uh, like what do you say a nearby hill or some trekking spot okay or something like that uh, but this is not going to apply to all of you but yeah this person if they want to build something any project whether it is big or small is a different story they are the person who, who will like um accomplish it on their own okay and and what i'm seeing is that uh this person is going to take a gamble on a path in their life, all right? They Because the three of clubs is the three of wands, okay? So this talks about expanding your horizons and uh, growing and uh, going somewhere else. So it's like they want to take a gamble on something and they're going to be like, okay, I am going to go all in and let's just go for it. And their bet is going to be a good one because we have the sun card over here. This is both the nine of clubs and the sun. So even though it might take them a while to like completely establish this thing, it was a good bet. Okay, so the decision was very, very good to go in this particular di uh, direction, even if a lot of people think that it's a gamble. Okay, but yeah, uh, eventually they're going to like be really successful on on this path and they already are kind of successful but yeah now when they made this decision that's when they come across you okay and here's the fun part okay both of you are gonna look at each other and it's gonna be in a crowded space uh for some of you you might meet at like a, a dating event like one of those speed dating events for others of you, you'll be at some kind of a gathering. It could be anything, but I do see a lot of people around you. So it's like you see each other through the crowd, okay? Like across the crowd, you'll catch each other's eyes and you're going to be like, there's something about this person. I don't know what, but I just know there's something about this person. I don't know what that thing is though, 
but you know what that thing will be like your met your future spouse okay <laughs> so this is really fun okay and eventually you're going to have a conversation all right so um okay uh, now here's the thing i yeah we have the king of spades and the queen of spades right so it's like um both you and your future spouse are the kind of people who are more focused on your career than on relationships and love life and all of that stuff so even though there's a spark and you meet each other's eyes and stuff uh i don't think the two of you will engage in a conversation that will be of any romantic kind okay you will have some kind of a conversation because i do see the two of clubs over here and you'll be drawn to each other you will communicate because you're drawn drawn to each other but you will communicate in a manner that is very uh that is a uh, uh very clinical okay let's just put it that way very uh very clinical very um clean okay all about the mind and everything sharing ideas and this and that talking about your careers where you're going this and that all right and but eventually obviously your relationship will grow okay now here's the thing that confuses me a bit so just give me a few seconds let me just look at the cards and try to get the message over here yeah okay so here's the thing remember how i said that you can swap the energies right so i'm feeling that for a lot of you you are identifying with this side of the table rather than that side of the table okay so like uh, feel free to swap the energies all right uh, because for some of you this will be you for others of you this will be you okay but here's the thing whoever is on this side of the table they will be the one who will actually ask the other person uh tell i mean like confess the feelings to the other person okay uh they're going to pour their uh, heart out um and they're going to do it in a very balanced way because like i said this is a very balanced person very in control of themselves very strong on the inside okay so so they're going to do that and uh, this person on this side of the table whoever it might be it might be you it might be your future spouse whoever is on this side of the table is kind of more on the closed off side so i don't know the story that comes before these two cards but i am getting the feeling that this person has gone through some situations in their love life in the past because of which they almost they like uh, gave up on love they were like yeah i think this is like a waste of time like a colossal waste of time i've got more things to do in my life I've, i i don't want to waste my time on um, all of this uh, bullshit and so they just close themselves off and that's why any conversation with anybody who they are even mildly attracted to is always clinical for, for them because they're like i don't even want to go there all right and so when this person confesses their feeling to this person let's call them person a person b okay uh person b is going to be closed off at first at first but they're not going to be like open about it like they're going to be closed off on the inside and they might say that let give me some time i'll think about this okay but eventually <laughs> we have the six of hearts over here which is also the lovers card over here so this person will eventually work through their you know uh disbeliefs or uh whatever it is that is like uh causing them to not really go for this uh relationship and they're going to be like okay let's fuck it like let's just go for it because you see with this card over here this person likes to take gambles on life in life uh, it's like and uh, they go with their gut um and just hold on okay and they go with their gut and whenever the gut uh, sounds the bell or the alarm just like that car that just went by okay uh, they just go for it and their decision turns out to be a really good one even if people in their life are like uh, are you like kidding me are you going to really make that decision okay so this person is like that so they're going to take a chance on you because in their gut they're going to feel that this is it and this gut feeling right they're going to know it right from day one just like you know like person a and person b both are going to know right from day one that they have met their person but uh, 
it does not matter whether they like I, I i don't think you will really know that you have met your person but either of you like you will have that in your subconscious somewhere but neither of you seem to be the kind of person who like uh believes in this uh romantic ideal of uh you know love at first sight even though you did choose the red rose so so i do know that you are kind of romantic and your person is romantic as well but neither of you come off like that on the surface now let's get some chits from this bag over here to get more information about how everything is going to culminate into what we call a marriage and it may be a conventional marriage it may not be a conventional marriage we'll see okay so we have we have the rune lagus we have camp we have leo we have reversed stab ooh damn we have the reverse tab okay 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 we have capricorn yeah and finally we have reversed pluto yeah so in your subconscious you will know that you are you have met your match just like i said but you will not know it either of you will not know it and uh, now here's the thing uh, it's going to be like um this thing okay about like journey to marriage like you met you have decided to like date each other or whatever it will be because this person takes a gamble and they express their feelings to this one um and everything but this relationship is going to be froth with peril okay and when i say froth with per peril it means uh both of you are such strong individuals like and when i say strong i'm talking about like really big personalities okay like does not matter how, what you have achieved in uh life or not but or where you are in your life you are big personalities both of you and this thing will clash okay and it's like both of you will have to learn to respect each other's opinions and you know uh the things that each other decides to do in life otherwise this relationship will not succeed that's what i'm feeling so it's almost like whether this turns into a marriage or not is pretty much on your hands because both of you require respect from the other person in a relationship and lagus uh or lagas um, you can say either way is the rune of the ocean and the ocean is a vast <sighs> the ocean is so vast we don't even know how deep it is okay and uh, and the ocean it's like it has a lot that can give i mean it can give you a lot and it can also take away okay so it can give you treasures and fishes and this and that but if you don't respect the ocean it will kill you in an instant okay so it's like that is the energy that i'm getting both of you very strong personalities we have capricorn on one side we have leo on the other side both are fixed signs oh no sorry um capricorn is not a fixed sign this is a cardinal sign and this one is a uh, uh, a fixed sign but yeah oh leo so this is uh, this person and the capricorn we have uh, the emperor over here the emperor is an aries but somehow i don't know why when i look at this deck it reminds me of the devil even though it, this is not the devil card so uh this capricorn suits this okay so this is the capricorn energy this is the leo energy even if neither of you are leo or capricorn it does not matter um uh, it's like the energy is there so if you don't know what capricorn means or leo means you can read up about it you'll understand what that is all about but yeah it's going to take you both <laughs> a lot of why a long time to actually like uh get to the point where you are like um, yeah i think we are ready to do this together okay 
and there might even be times where you know either of you might feel that the other is betraying you because of their beliefs but it will not exactly be a betrayal it will just be that both of you have different beliefs when it comes to different things and you will have to learn to accept that okay like i said the ocean you have to respect it otherwise it will crush you okay and that goes for both of you so this relationship whether it lasts or not is completely in your hands okay in both your hands but maybe that's why that's all i'm getting right now pile number four so if you enjoyed this reading hit the like button below and let me know what you think in the comments and if you have not subscribed to the channel yet do subscribe because the next video is going to be about your married life so that is there don't miss out on that and uh, yeah if you want to book a private reading with me all the information for that is there in the description box below and that's it for today for you pile number four i hope you have a great day ahead and i will see you next time bye bye